Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 53 Quarterfinals Preview with Fymir. Hello! Hello everybody, this is it. Only eight teams left. Everything on the table. Mm. And let's dedicate this preview to our viewers in Venezuela. Oh. With the National Flower, the Orchi, the Catella Mosier, and the National List is the Pabellón Criollo. And I know 100% sure that I pronounced that right. <laughs> Fantastic. Really the only time I pronounced something right. <laughs> right, well, let's have a look. We've got Buya Kasha versus Four Rats. And so let's have a look. That is Kill Bill Volume 2 with his humans. 25-3. This human team in the final eight, unbelievable. What can you say about that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he has a glorious uh, catcher, a decent uh, killer, and sometimes you don't need anything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, jump up tackle pom is really, like, perfect killer, right? I mean, it could have, you know, obviously a stat or jump up or whatever, but, like, that's what you need. Uh, another Palmer for a bit of luck, yeah. Really nice gutter and some like it's a it's not a gutter, but it's actually full, you know, catches. So yeah, pretty cool. Problem, yeah. The problem here is only for guard. Yep, and he's up against Nepruha with four rats. I don't know. It's got to be the team name, hasn't it? Sixteen sixteen fifty. So very similar TVs. Twenty one two. And this is the Skaven team that we just really didn't have any idea <laughs> how it had got such a good record <laughs> and how it was going to win any games and it's in the final eight. There you go, there you go. Mm. Very good uh, Gatterrunner Ball Sucker. Yeah. yeah just, nothing's that good, right? The, uh, the Strength Ball's pretty decent, Might Blow Tackler's decent, but no Calor and like, no Super Gutters, right? No Natty, no Stats. Um, it's just only like only one guard, and he's a, a gutter runner. Mm. Very bare bones, and, and still somehow 60-50 TV. But um, yeah, so I think that's a good matchup for uh, Kill Bill. But you know, Skaven can win any game, right? So it's uh, not that big a favorite. But I think he, I think he is a favorite. So yeah, I think Kill Bill for me to win that one. Yeah. And then the next, the next one is going to be probably an easy win for Mr. Page. Um, is down to nineteen hundred from two two point two eight. <laughs> so he's lost a lot of TV after the last match versus the Nurgle, but still has an unbelievably strong team. Lots of icons, lots of icons all over the place. Mm, lots of mighty blow, lots of claw. Only, only three piling ons because one. Oh my god! Uh, how is he gonna be able to manage with only three pile ons? <laughs> yeah, but difficult. Uh, so, so six claw, three of them are claw mighty, three are claw palm, and what is he against? Well, he, it's almost a free win. He's up against dwarves. Six, nine, a good, decent record, but I mean. It's dwarves versus claw palm. <laughs> I mean, huge amount of guard. Uh, he's, God knows he's going to have to need it. Mm. And yeah. good chunk of mighty blow, you know. Beastmen are only armor 8 after all, so... Yeah, but three, three claw palm. Like, it's yeah, going to gonna have to be an absolute dicing for the dwarves to have a chance there. Which it could be. Blood Bowl is a dice game at the end of the day. So, you know, it could be. But, obviously, huge favourite there, Mr. Page. Then we've got the Stick'em Hit'ems, which is Poonbot. Humans. A more dodgy team, more guardy team than uh, Kill Bills. And higher TV. Yep. Ooh, skill ups. And yeah, also vlog, uh, the ogre there makes a big difference, having a strength 5. Yeah. Yeah, and he's going to be like 1970. Um, and he's up against Guido Baggins, with Baggins Unite, his Wood Elves, who are only 1600-ish TV. Um, 
17.52. So, you know, they might get a wizard, right? Might get a wizard. So, I, I don't know if you can deny the wizard by, like, sacking things. You know, maybe if you could sack... Oh, no, it's actually... So, there's a there's a journeyman to come on, right? And 40k to go off there. So 16.80. So, maybe you might sack the ogre to deny the wizard, if you can. Or, like, sack a reroll. Something like that. If, if, he, if he can sack enough to stop the wizard, he might, because... Yes, because uh, this thing with a wizard is uh, hard. Yeah, it's things are gonna be difficult. I mean, there's only a small bunch of elves, but they have a lot of skills, and I think uh, the human team doesn't have that much tackle anyway. No, no, like the the weird right wood elves never really look that good, but obviously. You know, they don't like that good on the team sheet, but they're always really good because they're always Wood Elves. <laughs> so, like, and he's got a strength up and he's got an edge up, and uh, that should be that should be pretty pretty much enough. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's interesting. Probably Woody's favourite. I'd probably put the Woody's favourite there. Probably Woody's as favourite, yes. Well, now we know who the favourite is in this match because one of them is Sambo Simon with Rolladorfs. Oh, look at oh. this team. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Really surprised to see this team uh, reaching this far. Not as a disrespect as Sambo Simon as a coach, but it's a team that has, you know, a lot of potential, but still feels like needed, you know, more. Mm. But Sambo Simon, which is in chat and a subscriber, so yeah, we have to support him. But yeah, yeah, very well placed, very well placed to be able, you know, to achieve all this with his uh, team. Yeah, I mean, fantastic names, aren't they? You know, this is, like, obviously the most talented bunch of players, the most handsome, the most intelligent. Oh, what, what can I say? Yes, yes, this is the Brilliant. chance to win Chalice, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I can, I can become, like, a ten-time Chalice winner if this, <laughs> if this team wins. Exactly. Ten trophies. I have ten, ten medals of... Uh, <laughs> CCL champion. <laughs> the problem is he's up against bloody Norse. Stinking Norse. 17 4 1 Norse as well. And Norse are a pretty good team to fight elves with, right? And he's got a few skills to take, so that'd be a few more tacklers to help and stuff. This could yes. be pretty annoying. Yes, he has to be a tackle and maybe a, that I know another dirty player to have two of them. But yeah, this team could do the job. But the ball carrier is meh, mm. and there is only two guard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he could take a third right with the elf. The elf could potentially take guard. But yeah, it's got two strength ups, which is strong, isn't it? And yeah, it, naturally a good matchup, racial matchup for the Norse. But I mean, surely, surely it has to be, has to be the roller dwarfs. Um, so we could have. We could potentially have like humans versus chaos and wood elves versus high elves in the semis, and then Mr. Page versus Sambo Simon in the final. Maybe yeah, that's probably that, that probably could the be favorites. that could be. But but uh, given our uh, tradition of absolutely cursing any team we support in these uh, things, <laughs> I'm gonna remain silent. <laughs> well, there you go. Thank you very much, Fami. It's been glorious having you on and doing this quick preview. Glorious to be here, as always, and I hope our viewers in Venezuela enjoy this uh, preview and will be there to watch the games. Glorious. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.